You hear about smart contracts just about everywhere in the crypto sphere as they're at the center of almost everything blockchain. DeFi, dApps, NFTs. Smart contracts were popularized around 2017 by the Ethereum blockchain and are now among the growing field of blockchain technology-based application. In this video, we explore the sophisticated world of smart contracts. We'll touch on what smart contracts are, what they can do, and what makes them among the most important technological advances of the 2020s, and of course, whether you should get involved. Watch till the end of this video to learn the basics of reading a smart contract. So why smart contracts? Well, contracts have been the standard way to formalize relationships in our society for millennia. What's a contract though? Well, whether you're buying or selling a home, a piece of land, digital assets, a car, or you wanna check into an inn, you'll be required to enter into a legally binding agreement with the other party. Now, in the traditional setting, a third party is usually a lawyer, a court, or a bank, and will ensure that both parties are obligated to the terms and conditions of the agreement. So, this is where smart contracts come into play. A smart contract is a self-executing or automatic contract. The contract's terms are embedded into a computer code, and once it's been created, no one can alter it. To put it another way, we could say that smart contracts are digitized terms and conditions of crypto-based transactions. The main difference between them and traditional contracts is that unlike the old school way of doing business, smart contracts confirm fulfillment automatically and execute the contract's terms instinctively. The blockchain guarantees a more transparent and secure performance and execution of the contract's terms without the need of a third party. Now, there are three different types of smart contracts. First up, smart legal contract. This is the most common type of smart contract. Parties in the contract are held accountable to keep their end of the agreement and failure to do so can trigger legal action against them. Then we have decentralized autonomous organizations. These blockchain communities are defined by a set of rules that are coded via smart contracts. The participants are bound to specific rules and their enforcement is executed via smart contracts that work together to watch over activities in the community. Third, we have application logic contracts, also known as ALCs. So these contracts contain application-based codes linked with other blockchain contracts. They facilitate communication across numerous devices, such as integrating blockchain technology with the Internet of Things, or IoT. Okay, so now let's outline some of the differences between traditional and smart contracts. Let's first look at time. So preparing, formulating, and drafting a traditional contract normally takes anywhere between one to several days or even weeks. However, the opposite, for a smart contract, the process can be instantaneous as long as there is a ready-made smart contract platform. Then if we're talking about execution and remittance, well, the parties involved in a traditional contract must make payment of the amount due in time with most processes requiring manual effort. Now in smart contracts, the process is executed automatically as soon as certain preset conditions are met. So what about the cost of the process? Well, with conventional contracts, usually it involves fees payable to third parties that oversee the contract increasing the overall cost. And the cost of executing a smart contract is usually lower since you only pay the transaction price without the need for interventions from intermediaries or third parties. Now, when it comes to data security and protection, traditional contracts are almost always written on paper. They can easily get damaged, misplaced, or lost. And on the other hand, smart contract codes are performed between pseudonymous parties on a ledger, offering more security and confidentiality. Now, you need plenty of time, space, and administration and supervision to archive a traditional contract. Thankfully, when it comes to smart contracts, archiving takes place automatically and securely. So this all sounds great for smart contracts. Are there any challenges though? Well, yes. When put side to side with a traditional contract, we could say that the most significant challenge you could encounter with a smart contract is, well, first, reduce or the complete lack of flexibility of the smart contract's terms and conditions. 
And then second, there is the difficulty and the ability to read the contracts by anyone who lacks specific background knowledge and qualifications. But thankfully, anyone having trouble can seek the mediation of experienced blockchain-specific lawyers. So, understanding smart contracts is essential. If you're operating in the crypto space, it's now clear that smart contracts are central in the crypto space and being able to read them is an essential skill. Smart contracts details such as data on transactions, blocks, wallet addresses, smart contracts, and more are found on Etherscan. Etherscan is a blockchain explorer for the Ethereum network that enables users to search through transactions, blocks, wallet addresses, smart contracts, and other on-chain data. This free-to-use tool is one of the most popular Ethereum blockchain explorers, and using Etherscan can help you understand how you interact with the blockchain, smart contracts, and dApps. This knowledge can also help you stay safe and spot suspicious behavior. The information you'll see will depend on what you're looking at, but most of it will include associated transactions, addresses, timestamps, and amounts. So let's consider Yearn Finance's smart contract as an example to help us understand the concept. Visit Etherscan and type Wi-Fi into the search bar to find Yearn Finance's Etherscan page. If you click on the contract tab, you'll find the basic information for the Wi-Fi token. The sections for decimals, governance, and total supply reveal the following information. Wi-Fi is a token with 18 decimals. Wi-Fi has a separate governance contract and it has a maximum total supply of 36,666 tokens. Because they're executed automatically, Ethereum advocates envisage a situation where smart contracts exist outside the legal system. If they should work as they ought to, people will never need to go to court to have their conflicts settled. Now you're not alone if you're wondering how smart contracts should be treated under the existing legal frameworks. A 2018 research by Stuart D. Levi and Alex B. Lipton determined that US law should recognize smart contracts but for now, that's still a work in progress. While most countries have different legal approaches to matters of blockchain and cryptocurrencies, some are more accepting of emerging technologies like smart contracts than others. While we're still in the early days of smart contracts, and even though their users don't need the intervention of intermediaries, your duty as a user is to scrutinize smart contracts to ensure the code is written correctly. Now, like every other technology in its early days, there may still be security issues and bug exploits, which have led to the loss of assets in a few rare occasions. So as we wait for those few issues to be resolved with time, we always recommend that you do your own research or DYOR. So remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on our socials for future alpha. See ya.